Hello and welcome. So we're into mission 8, uh, which follows on from mission 7 and is just before mission 9. But you're really glad that I pointed that out to you. So, uh, checking on our research as ever. Our weapon hasn't finished uh, researching yet, but uh, we've got uh, actually two new mods available for our agents. I think uh, it finished the brain level 2 and then went on and completed legs level 3 as well. So we can get some seriously good upgrades for our agents now. The brain level 2 will increase our shield and shield recovery time and legs level 3 will make us move like greased lightning which is pretty damn useful. Uh, you can add level 3 mods to a level 2 body, no problem doing so, so just get the mods straight away. And into the mission. Uh, mission 8 is not really that different from mission 7, in that the objective is to persuade an enemy agent. And it's another blonde agent. I don't know why we're always going for blonde agents, uh, or why all blonde agents are evil. Um, it's kind of a, a Game of Thrones Lannister type vibe. Blonde equals evil. Uh, there is a punk that attacks you straight away, and he is armed with high explosive, which you want to pick up. Uh, definitely, especially if you don't have any explosive on you uh, because you will need that explosive to complete the level and uh, you cannot complete the level without high explosive. Loads of police and unguided around this area. There's an unguided hideout uh, just a bit further up and there's also a couple of bikes uh, which are patrolling the area which have unguided in them and you want to get rid of them. So there's the wall at the gate uh, that we need to blow up. There are no vehicles available for us to get into, so we have to use the high explosive. And there's the enemy agent. You can see him there, moving around all the bodies that he's created, so... Uh, he must be pretty tough. And we seem to be getting hammered already from those bikes that I mentioned before. Uh, with the long range rifles, should take them out. Uh, with just a few hits, you can see it's fairly damaged already, and there it goes. Yeah, just armed with, there's the other one. Yeah. So, yeah, must have driven by, I must have shot it a few times already. Uh, there's the hideout, just up here, loads of punks in there. Uh, one of these punks has a fair bit of cash on them, and you'll see that he won't attack you, he'll just run away immediately. The others will attack you with pulse lasers. Where is he? He should make an appearance. Oh, now, there he goes. You see him? He just ran past us. He's got half a million in cash, so catch up to him and take him out. Because his money's better off with us than it is with him. Uh, police causing a nuisance. Agent 1 took a hammering there. I see it had a bit of trouble uh, in that hideout because usually I don't target enemies myself. I just put on the blue bars and let the agents target enemies themselves. But for some reason in that firefight, they weren't doing so. They, I had to target all the enemies manually. Uh, I'm not sure why that happened, if it's just a glitch with the game uh, or if I made the blue bars too large, possibly? I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, Agent 2 is suffering quite a bit, so I'll take off the blue bars because then you'll heal faster. If you got the blue bars on, then uh, agents will heal very slowly. You can see his health is racing back up now. I picked up the briefcase, as you probably saw. 
so that's all of the additional tasks uh, that we need to do in this level. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but it's always nice having a bit more money. And I think I'm just seeing if there's any useful weapons to pick up any that I don't have. But no, they're all pulse lasers. Uh, we don't really need those, I've already got them. Uh, so we'll just head off to the gate now uh, to plant our explosive. And uh, once we've blown up the gate, then I would just hang back a bit and persuade up a few civilians. As ever, we will need a small army of persuaded civilians to give us enough power to go and persuade the enemy agent. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. So, Agent 2's got the Persuadertron. Oh, not, who did I just shoot there? No, oh, it must have been a policeman. Or maybe it was a civilian that got in the way of the policeman. It looked like a civilian. Hmm. Bit of collateral damage there. Loads of civilians in this area. Uh, that will give us enough. So, we just need to race into the compound. And the agent is probably hiding inside a building now, or surrounded by dead guards. Uh, the guards all just seem to have either no weapons on them, uh, or I think some of them have miniguns. Yeah, we don't need those. Yeah, so he's inside that building there, as you can see on the minimap, so we'll just put on the super shield and persuade him instantly. Don't think there are any useful weapons to pick up there. Seem to be just checking. Okay. Yeah, stop faffing around, come on. Yeah, there is a flying car in that car park, but we can't get into it. For some reason, it won't let us get inside the flying vehicle. Not sure why, but it doesn't matter because we can run pretty damn fast now that we've got level 3 legs. So we just race back to the start and it's mission complete. Agent 4 is shooting somebody. Move a bit forward and there we go. Disruptor is finished. Hooray.